Hi guys, I am Isa. Today we're going to learn how to create a simple calculator using Goldwing. Okay, so I'm going to write package calc because you know, like, the name of the file is calc. I'm just write go on calc.go. Okay, so I'm going to say import. Well, actually, right before that, I'm going to say func main. FMT dot print ln. I'm gonna say hello. Now, if I run it, it says command not gonna run it. So now it says hello. Okay, so if you remember from our last tutorial, if you want to, if you want to, you know, get user input, then you have to write there. Um, and let's go to my num one int. Or whatever. Let's say var num one int. And I'm gonna say var num two int. Okay. So I'm going to say uh, uh fmt dot scan. So I'm gonna say num one and fmt dot scan. Num two. So right so now if I run it, it does, yeah, it does nothing but it can write text. Yeah. Right, eight and I write six. You know it does that. So I might as well just you know like add a sign. I want to say for our sign string. So anyways, um. So I'm going to say FMT dot scan sign. Okay, so I'm going to go so in here. I'm just gonna say scanning. Cause why not? And I'm going to say FMT dot print uh, number one. And I'm going to, you know, like, copy it, and here I'm going to say, sign, and here, I'm going to say number two. So now the number one is, no I'm going to sign, I'm going to say, like, plus, number two is two. Well, but after all of that, it does nothing. Also, I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to say, like, if. So, I'm going to say, if, no, if sign is equal to plus. Uh, uh, so, I'm going to add these brackets, singies. And I'm going to say, fmt.print, ln, um, num1 plus num2 okay so if I say num1 is 5 and sign is plus number 2 is 9 so that's 14 but I mean uh, if the sign is anything else it does nothing okay so uh right, so instead of just writing that I'm going to say and sir I'm gonna say plus num one plus num two. This says invalid operation answer. This must type string and int. So we're gonna have to import another library. Uh, called called strconv. I'm gonna say you know me like convert to to string. String string convert. I'm gonna say stir conv dot i t o a, which means like int to string. And so I'm going to say, so in this i t o a, I'm going to say num1 plus num2. And then if I write number one, seven, sign is plus, number two is two. It says answer is nine. 
we're going to say else if sine is equal to minus then I'm just going to like copy this string of code and then here I'm just saying number one minus number two so if I say like seven minus three the answer is four I'm just going to you know like say else if you just also copy this sine is equal to multiplication I guess and then whoops fmt dot print ln the answer is gonna be multiply so number number one is five because number two is ten wait what uh, so if the number one is five and the number two is ten uh the sign is multiplication number two is ten and the answer is oh uh five hundred i guess so i'm going to say else if sign is equal to slash then the answer will be number one divided by number two. Number one is like 1,800. So division. Number two is two. The answer is 900. And I also want to say else if sign is equal to. Uh, well, I mean, we're talking about the basic number. So I'm going to say two multiplication sign, which means, you know, exponents. So in here, I want to say num1 divided by num1. So I'm gonna say, so yeah, in here only the num1 will be applied. I'm gonna say like 555. I'm gonna say exponent number two. We don't have to write anything there. Oh, I'm just gonna. So now it shows the, you know, 555 raised to the power of two. Okay, so uh, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, something like and subscribe. So bye.